So this is the brain. The alien is a brain. We are trying to like interrogate, to make a question to the victim. Here is the classical way to describe sculpture and painting. Now someone is looking at the painting in a different way. Interacting with an idea of, of painting totally different, an idea of society that actually is totally different. Um, you can see different, uh, different. Uh, I'm here interacting with the dog that I just described. I, I am like the third guest, like here actually. That's another community. You are you are the equivalent of Jesus Christ, probably. Maybe not. Um, this is another, another uh, intervention in different uh, contexts, but I'm still there with the same dog here, Jesus there. And it, it's like a, a, time, a, a, a time jump, but the thing is that the canvas uh, is just a background, but it's not a fixed background. The, the spectator, the audience, is always in, interacting with, the, with things, with the hair, with the ground, with the people that is, has been uh, described in, in, in Past. I mean, a painting is much more than it seems. It's not only matter. The information is augmented by the interaction with the with the with the, the author and with the with the people that still looking at it. Uh, here is a tennis ball that I selected just because uh, it's a Wilson tennis ball. <laughs> because and in a tennis ball, you see, you have a, you have a junction and you have a loop. So, I have a Wilson loop in my hand. Uh, and then I decided, and I almost touch, I decided to, to focus my attention on the idea that the painting might be non local. So, the idea that I, I don't want to put something in one room. But I want that the process could be sent somewhere else and the, pen, the painting could be appeared in the same way but in the different places. So I created this machine that actually is made by two uh, glasses painted with, uh, with UV uh, fluorescent paintings that react, reacts with the high frequency light. And when I, and that, that, that uh, platform is called Mother Platform. And it's one, only one, fixed in my, in my studio. And here there is a, an example of many different satellite platforms that actually are uh, mechanized with engines and are able to reproduce the, the drawings that I'm doing in my studio uh, uh, in different places at the same, same moment using the, the data flux of the internet. Here is, uh, is an example of a light path that I can create using a UV light on phosphorus. 
And here you can see the steps, actually, of the drawings that is growing up in complexity, but actually uh, is an interaction with the light, with phosphoro, so it will disappear in shortly. It's just a time lapse of, of a drawing that will disappear soon. But the machine has a memory. So it's not just something that can reproduce uh, a wave, but the memory will record the drawings and will reproduce the drawings the year later at the same time. So the idea is here, this is the process, uh, this is an example of drawing and uh, open air. This. And the idea is here that you have a memory, and not a, a, a memory, yes, but, and, and, and here you have a, a time loop. Uh, and all this uh, trajectory is the sum of many, many, many hours of, of drawing section that are recorded by the machine. But the, the fact is that the, the timeline is a non-linear timeline because to, to code uh, one year of process, I, I don't, I don't want to uh, like, uh, start a drawing and, and finish 24 hours and 24 hours the, 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 the year later. So we, you will have the gap of time and in terms of hour between drawings. So probably to, to complete a one year of, of the process, I will take like four years. So at the end of the day, the memory will have will has a, a one year of nonlinear time, but actually is made by four years of our personal time uh, uh, perception. After years of uh, uh, non-active participation, I decided to, to interact strongly with uh, your community and uh, I'm uh, very grateful that you accepted uh, and I think that the fact that you accepted is a very crazy thing, but I'm probably play crazy, crazier than you because being in front of that audience is an ex in a, in a, it's <laughs> It's not logic. I mean, uh, I think that in normal, in normal universe, that thing doesn't happen. And um, so I'm trying to take uh, much more time as possible because I want to observe that moment as much as possible. Because I, uh, after that talk, it will be probably the last, the last uh, time that uh, we see each other. So uh, I want to just conclude uh, with. Uh, um, with an experiment that I've done, uh, imagine in the perspective of um, a visual art, a, a visual artist, what might be a, a cartoon theory, and I realized that that animation that I call a big jump theory. And, and